Happy Friday and thanks for joining us on To The Point with Alex Bell. I'm Becca Habiger in for Alex. Now I'm happy to say we have a lot of positive news for you tonight. Now we know the past few years have not been the easiest, especially for older adults in the Asian American and Pacific Islander community. COVID restriction led to isolation, loneliness and depression. Hate crimes are also on the rise. But in tonight's main point, we're showcasing a Sacramento group that's creating a community for those who might not otherwise have one. I love dancing. You should lock yourself in. I'm 94, and most of my friends are gone. And some of them can't even get out of bed. And they lock themselves in. Too bad, too bad, because this is a wonderful outreach. I met a lot of new friends, and the instructors are wonderful. One forward. I've been taking a lot of classes, cooking and uh, dance. A lot of seniors might feel anxious being out for a variety of reasons, um, but it really was heightened during the pandemic. Being isolated in your own home without the ability to make connections with other people, to have meaningful interactions, that really takes a toll on people's mental and physical health. Many of our services really focus on helping seniors be healthy and active and socially engaged so that they can continue to live independently for as long as they want to. We have a ride transportation program, door through door transportation for seniors so that they can get out and do things like go to the doctor's office. The senior escort program matches trained volunteers with seniors who may not feel comfortable or safe being out in the community by themselves and they go for walks just so that they can get out and, and be out in their community. Our senior escort program was a, really a grassroots effort as a response to the rise in anti-Asian hate incidences that occurred during the pandemic. Violent night across the area. Stop Asian hate! We need to speak for those that are weak, that can't stand up. Speak for those that can't speak English. We really wanted to take a preventative approach to stopping the hate. There were a lot of incidences that were really targeted at seniors and especially women who were alone. We know that these can be challenging times, but we think that if people come out and just have some meaningful interactions with other people and start building relationships again, um, we can all be a lot more resilient and we can live our best lives. Even for those people who have family, oftentimes they need to know that there are others in the community that can support them. I don't drive anymore because I got macular degeneration. So I use the ACC transportation program and I love all the drivers. It made me happy. I don't have to depend on my family to take me places. I can call each and every one friend and they can give me right if I need right. I really think this is my second home. I'm very independent. You can see that. We do depend a lot on volunteers and we're always looking for more volunteers. I enjoy being with the people. I think I get as much out of it. So when I leave, I'm happy. It kind of makes my day. It's for the social and the mental health, you know, just the interaction. As the staff here, they're very dedicated, they're caring, they really believe in the goals of making it safe and providing both a social and a, a mental safe place for the people. I became real good friends with lots of people. I enjoy talking to them. It's wonderful. The classes are wonderful. The people are gracious, and if you don't know how to play mahjong, we will show you how. Well, if you'd like to volunteer with ACC Senior Services, we've got everything you need to know on abc10.com slash to the point. Just look for the links mentioned page.